Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Excellent. The American flag. Baseball is my favorite sport. Favorite sport. Baseball is my favorite sport. Also known as the Stars and Stripes. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Excellent. Now for something new. This is a national holiday called Thanksgiving. On the fourth Thursday of every November, families feast and think about what they're thankful for. Which one's the daddy? Do I have a daddy? Of course you do. Dr. Vogelbaum, silly. So does that mean you're my mommy? Sure. I can be your mommy. So you love me? I do. And you'll always take care of me? Always. Okay, we'll take care of her, just like the others. Uh, today we had another incident, but this time the subject was not driven by anger, but by something else altogether. I told Dr. Vogelbaum that the subject was obviously suffering from isolation-induced depression, but he didn't respond. He just told me to find another tutor. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. Hopefully you guys have had a chance to see the boys. I've gotten a lot of requests to do more videos for it. They've officially started production on season two, so they're releasing these early promos, just getting people hyped up. The producers have already been talking about it, doing interviews. They say that Amazon just gave them an extra dump truck of money they're using a lot of that extra money to add extra characters, make extra big action scenes. So the first episode of season two, which they just finished shooting, is going to be way, way crazier than the stuff that you saw during season one. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. Given that people like season one so much, I'll probably wind up doing more videos for season two episodes. The promo was all about this really sinister moment of them conditioning Homelander as a child in the most sadistic way possible. There's nothing that seems good about this scene. Who could have guessed things would have gone completely off the rails with him? But here's my top 10 predictions for season two, just based on the stuff that they set up at the end of the series, hanging plot threads, and some stuff that they've already changed from the comics and what the producers have said. So number 10, what's going to happen between Butcher, Homelander, Butcher's wife who's been missing for the last eight years, and Homelander's son, the new Superboy of the series? The writers really wanted you to think that a lot of Homelander's problems in his actions are the result of the terrible upbringing and desire to have a family. Now that he thinks he has a shot at that through his son, like he's completely smitten with the idea of being a father to this boy. The promise of the teaser in the reversal is probably that things seem like they're going to be okay for a little while. Homelander seems like he wants to settle down, reform, and be a good father to this boy. Be the good father that he never had. But then because he is who he is, he just continues to get more and more out of control on his path to eventually the White House. Because season one was all about dealing with the military. They're going to get into that during season two. The next step beyond that is getting into the government. And that means the White House. So nine, what is Butcher going to do about Homelander's son and his wife, who technically he's still married to? They didn't get a divorce when she took off eight years ago. I still think 100% he's going to try and use Homelander's son against him. Because before this, he said that Homelander's weakness was still well. And now the only thing that Homelander cares about is his son. So his son is his new weakness. Eight, what's going to happen now that they're letting the military use superheroes? And what about all the Compound V villains that Homelander was artificially creating in terrorist cells all over the world? 
general arc of most series like this is that the real villains kind of eat themselves alive through internal conflicts undoing themselves after they go totally off the rails in a very public way. Butcher's whole mission is either to get Homelander to stand trial or at least get the public to realize how terrible a person he is. So I think he's going to try and take advantage of Homelander going continually off the rails and push him into a situation where he reveals his true self to the public. Seven, what about the female of the species? She's supposed to be one of the most powerful characters on the series next to Queen Maeve and Homelander. Frenchie's helping bring her humanity out. That's just going to continue. She's meant to be sort of a juxtaposition with Homelander, showing you that, yes, superheroes who are animals can be really good people. Like, they're turning her from an animal into a normal person, while Homelander is a nice person seemingly turning into an animal. Six, what's going on with Starlight and Huey now? So it seems like they're in a full-blown relationship going into season two, and she's going to continue to inform for the boys, maybe also try to turn Queen Maeve, because she clearly hates what's going on with the Seven. She doesn't like Homelander, but everyone is terrified of him. So that's why you haven't seen her go against him in a really physical way yet, just because she knows that she couldn't win against him in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Five, what's going to happen to the Deep? They kind of kicked him out of the Seven. Like, they basically told him they were benching him at the end of the season, which is why he was so pissed off. But the joke of the series is, is that most of the time when they need to save someone and they need a superhero, it doesn't involve water. So his powers, for the most part, are virtually useless in a lot of the things that they do. That was why they developed him as that social media star and always used him for that stuff. Like, oh, here, you know, you can go do this and be the PR person while we have these other superheroes saving people. He's one of those characters who's trying to reform, so 50-50, he also turns and helps out the boys with Queen Maeve and Starlight eventually. Four, what are they going to do to clean up the mess from the end of the season? So they blew up Stillwell's house. She was already dead because Homelander had killed her. And I'm pretty sure that Homelander did not save her baby. So they blew that baby up too. A lot of people wondering about why they didn't focus on that. They just meant to show you how little Homelander actually cares about people. Like he was only focused on going to meet his son and showing Butcher or shoving it in his face. Three, like I said, they're going to do the hero gasm eventually, but might not happen till season three. In the comics, what they used that for was it was Butcher's team of the boys infiltrating a hero gasm to learn more about Vought's secret long-term plans to try and infiltrate the White House. Short term right now is heroes infiltrating the military. Next step is the White House and the government. Two, what's going on with Black Noir and have they changed him significantly from the comics? Because the female of the species was able to cut him, but she's supposed to be super powerful too, so it is possible that she could cut him. But a lot of people are thinking, and I'm thinking it's correct, that they've changed who he is from the comic book version of the character. It's meant to be this big twist that you don't find out about till really later. And I think that they've swerved on that in favor of what's going on with Homelander and his son, this new Superboy. Because the comic book version of this kind of moment here was very, very different. What happened is, is that Butcher's wife really did die, but she died giving birth to the baby in their room. It just grew super fast, killed her during the birth, then Butcher killed the baby, and that was the end of it. So with this moment here, we're completely in new territory from the comic book, and I think they'll use a lot of this in the way they end the series in whatever last season they wind up doing. But number one, how many more seasons are they going to give it? Right now, expectation is four to five seasons with the amount of money they're spending. Seth Rogen actually joked, the amount of money they're spending, they have to renew us so that they can make their money back. Really happy with what they did with season one. It was a great parody of the Justice League and the DC characters. Obviously, Homelander being like the darkest timeline injustice version of Superman that you want to think about probably even darker than Injustice Superman. But the TV show pulls way back on how graphic the comic book gets. I'm only expecting eight episodes from season two. There's not that much comic book material for them to go on. They could expand on a lot of moments, which is probably what they'll have to do in later seasons. But it sounds like it's going to be awesome. So just post all your theories about season two in the comments and let me know if you want me to do more videos for the boys. There's a couple other big videos that I'm working on. While you guys wait for me to post that, click here for my boys season one video and click here for my Black Panther 2 teaser video. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.